Dobrý den a vítejte u 34. lekce. Hello and welcome to lesson 24. Today we're going to build on the last lesson which looked at the months of the year, which was leden, uno, březen, duben, květen, červen, červenec, srpen, září, říjen, listopad, prosinec. So those are all the months of the year in the nominative case. But sometimes I might want to say, not just January, but I want to say in January. I want to give a when, gdy, gdy, when. If I want to say when, I need to change it. So firstly, I need the preposition the, meaning in, which is the, the. And then I need the month, but in the um, locative case. So the months change from the nominative to the locative when I want to say when. So that's the sixth case. Okay, so let's just go through it. And then we'll talk a little bit about it after. So, January, leden, in January, flednu, flednu, flednu. February, unor, in February, funoru, funoru, funoru. March, březen, in March, březnu. 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 April. Duben. In April. V dubnu. 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 Um, May. Květen. In May. V květnu. V květnu. That's quite difficult to say that. V květnu. Okay. Uh, June, červen, in June, v červnu, v červnu, v červnu. July, červenec, in July, v červenci, v červenci, v červenci. Uh, August, srpen, in August, v srpnu, v srpnu, v srpnu. Uh, September, zarji. In September, zarji, zarji, zarji. Almost the same. Okay. Uh, October, rjina. In October, rjinu, rjinu, rjinu. Uh, November, listopad. In November, listopadu. Flistopadu, flistopadu, flistopadu. And finally we've got December, prosinets, in December, prosinci, prosinci, prosinci. Okay, so that's what I want you to try to learn. Um, doesn't take too long. And remember, let's go through these. If we just very quickly look down the list of the months and the whens, we can see that flednu, funoru, vřeznu, vtubnu, vkvětnu, včervnu, vsrpnu, vřinu, v listopadu. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of the months. Nine of the months when they're in the um, locative case end in u. End in u. So that's nice and easy. It's not a big thing to learn. Um, Okay, the, the ones, the months you've got to watch, you've got to look out for, uh, obviously, um, let's see here. Be careful with July, because that's Fcervenci, Fcervenci, you've got the E ending. Um, September, look out for that one, because it doesn't actually change at all. It's Zaji, Zaji. Um, and again, December, so that's Prosinci. Um, Prosinci. So there's a uh, prosinci. Uh, it's not long. So just bear in mind that um, in September, zaji, that's the only one with a long I at the end, the accent over the I, so it's longer. Okay, so I don't think it's too difficult, but um, what, what I want you to do here is not worry too much that it's in a different case, but just learn it for now, and you'll find that without thinking about it then, you're starting to pick up or familiarize yourself with these different cases. For example, 
we could go into this in more depth, and we could also talk about saying from a month. So, for example, from January, again, the case would be different and the ending would be different. But I don't want to go into it too much for now. I think it's enough, really, for you to learn the months and to be able to say um, giddy when. So, for example, for led me. Tak. That's all for, for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thanks to everyone who's written comments for the videos. I really appreciate it. Some interesting feedback, some good ideas for other lessons. And it's just nice to hear how you're getting on. Um, so good luck to everybody trying to learn Czech. I hope you're making progress and I hope the videos are, thank you, um, are helping you. Tak děkuji moc a nasledanou.